Hello, this is Jess, and this is uh, a recap of Sunday, September 6th, um, day 250. Um, Sunday was a great day as far as weather goes, and uh, it was all, it was all uh, regular work as usual. Plants are looking great. And we're slowly going into the uh, harvest mode. And it's exciting. It's uh, great to be alive. Um, each day is, is uh, wild with the political structure being destroyed, the political scene. Uh, our country's democracy being uh, hammered on by the by the powers that be, um, our our personal freedoms uh, could be at stake here. Um, systems running and keeping things in operation could be uh, in jeopardy. Uh, our whole setup could be in jeopardy if we push this thing over the brink. Um, so, put the guns down. Gosh damn. Bunch of fucking morons. Um, no need to be shooting people because they don't think like you do. And there's no reason for them to be attacking your ship because you don't think like they do as well. There has to be a compromise down the middle. Fucking decency, respect. Um, and it starts with the every person. Not one person can have it and everybody else can't. I mean, it's just fucking... It's just mind-boggling to me that people can't just say, you know, they have a point, they need to be able to protest. Now, if they come tearing shit up, I'm going to get pissed off, so I'm going to not mess them until they do, and then, of course, look where we are. Sometimes bombings and fire and shooting have to happen in order to get a point across, but there also is a time to withdraw and to assess the situation to see if there's room for growth um, and social change um, to respect Black Lives Matter, that it, you know, it's, <sighs> everything isn't cut and dry, you know, everything's not cut and dry, everything's not terrorism, and everything's not fucking bums out there wreaking havoc on the fucking streets, um, it's perspective, and if you have any, you need to step back from it, and say, hey, why aren't people being treated fairly that are of a different race? Um, why is this happening and what can I do to help change it? I'm not asking you to change your beliefs or how you think about shit, except just to be forthright in, in what you believe and to examine it and make sure that it's not harmful to somebody. How good can a belief be if it's fucking terrorizing citizens and terrorizing people and and taken away from people who already don't have. I mean, come on. I'm really frustrated with it. Um, it's a shame that this is where we are in this in this world. Much less in our country. Much less, you know, in the town that I live in or the town that you live in. It's fucking insane. And it starts with me. It starts with you. Um, there's no easy path, it looks like, but there has to be a path. And we have to start cleaning it up so that people can walk down it freely and and not have fucking fear of death on their mind from the police or or some jackass with a fucking gun who realizes you don't think the way they do and they just want to come and shoot you. And, and it's just fucking stupid. But what do I know? Um, I would appreciate if uh, you can make it this far in the videos that you uh, could uh, subscribe, <clears throat> hit the subscribe button, or you know, comment, or like or don't like, or just somebody so I can tell if somebody's even looking. If if you're not, that's okay too. Um, I'm not doing it for that. I'm doing it for what I get out of it, and that's just this right here. I get it. It's enjoyable to me to sit here and just. 
talk my piece for a minute, you know. So, alright, well this is Jess, I'm out. Have a great day, bye.